Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So tonight we have a very dramatic Valentine's eyeshadow look. So as you guys can see, it's black with burgundy and we have a dramatic bold lip today. So if you guys want to see how to achieve this look, stay tuned and keep on watching. And like I always say, I hope you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe this video and let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of these videos. Let me know if you guys want to see anything specific. I usually do polls on my Instagram, which I always link on my videos. So if you guys want to follow me on there, stay tuned to see what my um, Instagram's names are. But for the most part, like I always say, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the look that I did for you guys. And thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in a bit. Alright guys, so oh, oh, we already have our eyebrows done and today we're going to do a black smoky Valentine's Day inspired look. So I did a poll on my Instagram and so far it's been kind of winning the um, poll due to a, compared to a regular kind of everyday look. So we're going to do that and um, per usual just make sure that your eyes are prepped because Black is a really hard color to work with unless you get the right colored blacks that are really pigmented then you're totally fine but I recommend um, putting a little bit more concealer or putting more um, primer on your eyes so I did both so um, today we're going to start dipping into our modern Renaissance palette and honestly I feel like this is the only palette I'm gonna use for the other shades but for black I'm gonna dip into another palette so just kind of um, you guys will see what I'm gonna do so we're gonna get a transition shade and we're going to get the color burnt orange so this palette is super beat up I know I have to clean it I just really haven't gotten to it but yeah excuse that so we're gonna get this shade right here burnt orange and then just um, apply that all over our lid and make sure you guys kind of get it a little higher up just because we want the black to be all over our eyes and we still want this to kind of peek through. And then just to let you guys know, I do recommend um, kind of buffing this out a little bit further out than you normally do. Just because I'm gonna kind of try to get the shape of like a sharp like line eyeshadow. So kind of buff it out a little bit more so this peeks through on the outside as well. You guys don't have to add anything on the outside. I usually just add on the, the outer corner right here and then just start buffing it out this way. And then that way... Um, it kind of just extends its way out by itself because if you put too much it's going to look really harsh on the eyes so just do it like that and then slowly just kind of work your weight with it then after you have that shade down you're going to we're going to do like a red um over so on top of this shade we're going to do a red so dip into the shade love letter so this one up here and then just apply it the same way you did with this um burnt orange one and then buff this out and then after that we're pretty much going to dip into blacks so you guys can take the same brush that you use the burnt orange with or take a new brush i'm going to take a new brush just in case if it goes a little bit further than what i want i take the old brush and start buffing that out but just lightly dip into love letter and then just start kind of applying that out Alright, so once your eyes look like they've been sucker punched, you're gonna make sure that you guys blend as much as you guys can. Um, this is honestly gonna make your eye look what it's gonna end up looking. If you guys don't blend enough, it's not gonna look good. Um, so honestly, just take your time with it. Just kind of work it, like work with all of your shades and all of your pigments. Like, don't be afraid to. If it takes you 10 minutes to blend, then freaking make it take 10 minutes to blend. Like, just let it, let it kind of blend out and stuff. Like, don't be afraid of it. Blending is actually kind of, it's easier than it looks. You guys just have to know how to do it, I guess. So, yeah, like you see, I just added more on the corners and I'm just kind of like buffing it out and stuff. But pretty much we're going to go in with the black shade now. So, as you guys know, I like to work my way up to the blacks. 
so I take this little um, bottom one from the same brush that comes in the palettes and then I'm gonna take um, the Kat Von D shade and light palette and I'm going to take the shade so we're gonna take this shade Solas so this this one right here so it's like a, a dark brown so take this one and then pack it all over here. Okay, so you guys don't want to go too far up with the brown shades and if you do um, just go back with that same brush that you guys were using to apply the reds and just so slightly kind of like dab it in so it blends with that red and don't add anything on it because you don't want like a harsh red line so just kind of just blend whatever is left on your brush into it so like I said just keep on adding and don't be afraid to dip into that brown like I said I'm constantly just dipping into it and packing that color on and just constantly adding more and more so it gets dark because like I said I don't like to go straight into black because or darker shades I like to kind of work my way up to it and like I said you guys don't always have to do that it's just to your liking I like to kind of have a base for that shade if that makes sense so kind of think of like a wall if you're painting a wall you want to prep and prime it so you want to prime it you want to do certain things to it in order to get that really pretty color and stuff so that's what I do um, but like I said you guys don't have to do that I know a lot of people don't do it but I know the people that I watch do it and it's just one of those things where I kind of got in the habit of doing that so you guys can totally do it or not it's up to your guys's liking so after that um, like I said just keep on doing it to the other eye and then we're gonna dip back into the Modern Renaissance palette. So I haven't done anything to the other eye, but I'm gonna do that. But once I'm done, I'm gonna take the same um, brush that I used to pack on the one from Kat Von D, and I'm going to take the shade um, Cypress Umber. So this one right here. And like I said, my palette's really beat up because I haven't cleaned the specific one, but I swear I'm clean. All my other palettes are pretty, pretty good but this one um it's like a dark brown and then add this on top of the shade that we use from the Kat Von D palette and then same concept if you guys um go a little bit on top like I said you don't want it to go all over the lid you just kind of want it on the sockets and if you go a little bit too far like far up and stuff take that red brush and then just blend away so like I said the key to this look is blending I know I constantly say that but it's one of those things where you kind of have to blend in order to make it look really pretty so I'll fast forward through this eye and then I'll show you guys the cypress umber so you guys will see. okay then after your eye looks really it's gonna look weird <laughs> but give it time so once it looks something like this you are going to start using your black shade so like i said um i like to build my way up so i'm going to use the <clears throat> excuse me i'm going to use a black shade called shacks in the same kat von d palette so this one right here and then just add this all over the lid on top of the brown that you used <clears throat> and then like i said if you guys go a little bit further up just keep on blending don't be afraid to blend it um that's pretty much going to be the eye look like i said so I'm taking the same brush and then just dipping into that black shade in the Kat Von D palette. So as you guys can see, this shade is really black. I honestly didn't expect um, the Kat Von D's black shade to be this black. Like, usually blacks are never like, like it's super hard to find like a dark black. And like, if you guys can see, I have so much like fallout. Like there's a bunch of like, it's like on my hands and like on my legs right now. I don't even want to touch it because I know it's going to be like a disaster. But 
yeah so i was planning on putting another honestly like honestly honestly like i was gonna do maybe two or three different blacks from different palettes but this black is actually pretty dark like it's it's not i didn't expect it to be this dark put it like that like i thought it was gonna be like super light and stuff but it actually did the job like it looks really nice like it looks dark enough as how i wanted it so if you guys wanted to look darker you guys can add another shade so i do want it to be just a little bit darker so i'm gonna dip into my sephora academy palette and just take like a normal black and then just dip it on top of that like i said you guys can just stop there um it, it should be dark enough for some of you but i want it to be a little bit blacker so i'm gonna add that and then i'm gonna skip through and do my uh, foundation but for the most part that's it for the eye look i'm gonna dip into the bh cosmetics palette excuse me <laughs> and i'm gonna dip into the bh cosmetics palette and then put a pop of color underneath i'm not sure what color i want to do yet so stay tuned for that but i'll show you guys as soon as i finish and yeah so i'm gonna fast forward through this hairs oh, hairspray i was gonna say baltimore they decided hairspray to um netflix and i'm all for it i love hairspray but anyways um i pretty much did my uh, foundation and concealer and whatever is um, just to let you guys know, a couple of you asked me how or what I use to take off fallout. Um, so I honestly, the only thing I use is baby wipes. I use the green tea melon ones by the Up and Up So Target brand. So this is what I use. Um, and I just pretty much just take off anything. Like if I have a brush that I need to clean off real quick, I just, I use a little wipey and I just, I pretty much just wipe it all off and stuff. And then I use this to wipe my fallout. But other than that, like that's pretty much all that I use. I actually use them to take my makeup off as well. If I'm too lazy to like get up and like wash my face, I just use that. And if I don't use this this one, I use the peach scented one or the ones that are non-scented because my skin is a little sensitive. But I can I can put a lot of things on it. But when it comes to baby wipes, if I rub too hard, it does hurt a little bit. But other than that, I really recommend those. I tried Huggies before, and it kind of those burn my eyes a little bit. I don't know if it's, I'm not gonna get into it, but it's just I don't I don't really use Huggies. Those are these I recommend these, and they're cheap. They're like a dollar, almost two bucks maybe, but they're super inexpensive. But other than that, um, we're gonna do our bottom um, eyeshadow. So let me get the shade real quick. Okay. So I was going to dip into the BH Cosmetics and take a bright red, but I don't think it's going to look good. So I'm going to take the Modern Renaissance palette and then dip into that same um, love letter and then dip into Venetian red. So these two. So this one and then this one. And then just take the same brush um, from the palettes that come with it, the brushes that come with the palettes, and then just use this um bottom one and then just kind of put it in there and then fluff it out a little bit. But for this... um. Kind of try to pack on a lot as you can as much a lot <laughs> as much as you can just so it looks super dark red on the bottom and we're not going to put any black because we have already obviously too much black on the top but other than that just kind of dip this in there all right so this is pretty much the end to the look um, the last thing I need to do is add lipstick or lip gloss on so for the look um, on camera I'm gonna put on this Anastasia um, Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the shade vamp um, so if you guys want like a very dramatic look I would definitely go with this so I'll put this on and then at the end um, I do take them off obviously because I don't like going out with too much unless I'm really going somewhere to fancy or something but if you guys don't want to use a super um, dramatic lip, you guys can do like a nude lipstick with it, which is probably what I'm going to do, or use the Sonia um, Kashuk lip liner and then just fill my lips out and then add a gloss on top of that. So let me just add this Anastasia look and then you guys can see how that looks. Alright, so this is pretty much the end look. So like I said, if you guys want something really dramatic, something kind of sexy for your Valentine's Day with your loved partner, loved one, whatever, y'all dig it. Um, pretty much just apply this lipstick. Like I said, it looks red in the um, little glass that it comes in, but it's actually really dark. Um, 
it's like I just I love this lipstick like if I wear like a dark lipstick I usually go with this one or my um the lingerie one by NYX I, uh, yeah by NYX and it's they're so pretty the shade Teddy if you guys have the shade Teddy this would look really cute with it it's like a dark chocolatey brown and I add lipstick on top so for this I kind of wanted to just be just kind of stay as it is I was gonna add this lip gloss on top but you guys don't have to but for the most part this is the end look so like I said a black um eyeshadow look with the little with a little bit of that burgundy peeking over and then a dark lip and then you guys can add some highlight and then I did add a little bit of um like glitter loose pigment from the chocolate bar um, golden palette and I took this shade rich girl so this like pinkish um it's really pretty like let me swatch it usually I add this on the top of my um any like anything that I'm wearing I usually add this on top of there you really see it as much yeah you guys I have to like wet it like a lot like so yeah if you guys can see that right there it's really shimmery yeah you can see it there so I usually like take a wet brush or as you guys saw I lick my finger like my brush and I just like kind of dip it in there I don't care if you guys think that's gross that's what I do I know people do that shit out there so come at me whatever but for the most part like I said this is the end look um excuse my attire um I'm in bed so obviously this is how I film I don't get dressed up to sit and film <coughs> excuse me but for the most part this is the end look I hope you guys enjoyed this video and like I always say I hope you guys give me some love make sure you guys give me the thumbs up make sure you guys share like comment and subscribe on my videos and make sure you guys turn on that notification bell and so you guys can be notified when I post again which I probably post every single day of the week except maybe once or twice but for the most part this is the end of look I will post some videos at the end per usual and I will add this look onto my um, beauty Instagram so that Instagram page is a b b y m u a 21 and then my personal Instagram if you guys do follow me or if you guys want to follow me is a b b y s a r a h i 21 so like I always say thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and yeah that's pretty much it so I'll see you guys later see you in the next video Bye.